name uh, and your sure. uh, my, my name is John Lysenbring from Arlington, Virginia. Uh, with respect to the ongoing uh, need for stability in Iraq and its exchange rate, would it not follow that there's a direct need for a potential revaluation of the currency to induce both domestic and foreign investment in Iraq? And with regard to that, how far do you believe that we are from a potential revaluation of the Iraqi currency? Well, even if I know the answer, I cannot tell you. <laughs> well, the thing is, no, I think the question is all, you cannot have an economist saying without the answer, it depends, you know. So the question here is actually a revaluation will, uh, which, which really is going to depend on, on, on to what extent we are, we are going to continue uh, let us say, controlling inflation. As you know, I don't know if you go to the, to the central bank law, you will see it's in the website. You will see the first objective is maintaining the price stability. So uh, there is a little bit of inflation in Iraq. I mean, it's now used to be 2% or 3%, now it's about 5%, but we are watching that very carefully. Uh, if this inflation continues, we'll have to revisit. It's more, revisit, more than revisiting, I cannot say. We are going to revisit the question of exchange rate because, I mean, uh, revaluation, I mean, depends on inflation. Of course, I mean, you know, uh, uh, the other factors that determine the movement in currencies uh, are a lot. I mean, some kind of, we look at trade, I mean, exports and imports, and all uh, your, your, all your obligations, and then the balance of payment and all these things, definitely, no doubt, you, you look at those. But uh, those are problems relating with the, more with, with, the, with the development part of the economy. The question of maintaining price stability is really something you, you see the inflation and all these things, because nobody else in the economy is concerned with inflation. I mean, the government, when it put its budget, uh, I mean, the, the government is spender and the central bank is saver. So they, it's not very important for them to mention and to concentrate on, on, on inflation. So actually the question here that we are going to track and follow the development in inflation first, and of course other factors which I mentioned, second, and then we will determine our exchange rate movement. <clears throat> Thank you, Governor. Uh, this may be the same uh, question, so I can understand if you can't answer it, but I've heard a report that... Can you have your name, oh, my name is Bob Kelly. I am an investor in Iraq, the mm -hmm. Summit Hotel in the International Zone mm -hmm. with the OPIC uh, financing. What? But we, we've heard, I've heard a report that uh, just in the last couple of days that Iraq is about to cut three zeros off of the currency and that they call that re-denomination. That may be the same question that you just received, but I wondered if you had any information about that. Well, I mean, I don't know whether it's the same question. I think this cutting three zeros is, uh, is uh, um, it has, of course, it shouldn't be exaggerated, actually, the problem. I mean, the question is just re-denomination and uh, I mean, people, of course, you see a lot of people that uh, writing a lot of articles in the, in the newspapers, I mean, uh, criticizing the central bank that is going to, uh, the, the, the value of the Iraqi dinar is going to depreciate or something, all kind of talk. I mean, this is a question just actually to facilitate payment, facilitate actually ease of counting and all these things. 
And of course, I mean, when you see now a lot of figures, I mean, you see trillions or, or I mean, huge figures, actually, when if you want that, I mean, if you want to be precise, you put about 12 figures or four, 15 figures and all these things, 15 um, digits or, or something. So I think, I think we have a plan on that. And uh, you remember uh, why the, there was no actually a government decree to, have, to add these zeros. They happened actually because of the course of development of the economy at the beginning of the 80s. I mean, just inflation was very high. Inflation, inflation was rampant. And therefore, I mean, small, small notes and these things were actually not, started not to be used on these things. So uh, government started to add the three zeros and these things and at the time. And of course, uh, conditions are different now. Inflation under control, exchange rate on, is managed by the central bank, all these things. When you had actually the zeros, you could not manage, not of course because of the fault of the government or the central bank, which I think there was, but I think the question is that because there were a lot of exogenous factors. I mean, we're not saying that we are champions now. I mean, there were actually a lot of external factors which affected actually the behavior of all economic stakeholders. And therefore, actually, a lot of people didn't know actually what to do. They have started to add three zeros and all these things. So now, actually, the situation is completely different from that time. You had a high inflation, you have now a low inflation. You had actually something which is a stable macroeconomic situation. I mean, at the time, actually, the situation was not stable. So uh, the only way to combat all of these things at the time is to increase the de denomination and put three zeros. I think, I think uh, to bring back the Iraqi dinar, where actually three zeros are removed, and of course you have to, this will have gone hand in hand with monitoring of the exchange rate and all these things, and, 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 and you will see. I think now it is, uh, it is uh, probably, uh, I mean, we are, we are studying that, not studying, we have decided actually on that, but when, when to implement that, to remove all these three zeros is, uh, is very soon. But of course, this requires not only the central bank activity, this it requires because, I mean, it's something you have to make a lot of propaganda, uh, a lot of uh, uh, advertisement campaign and all these things. And you have, of course, to go probably some a campaign to, to, to uh, educate a lot of people on these things. Uh, so I think, I think it needs a lot of help from the government, from many people in the government, especially the security forces. And if we hope that security forces uh, become less busy with, uh, with the violence issues so that they can devote time for us.